Hi, I'm Paul Badham, Associate Director at Harrison Clark Charter Surveyors. In this video, we'll be talking about spray foam roof insulation and the difference between open cell and closed cell types. Without assessing a specific case, we can't ultimately say whether retrofitting spray foam insulation is right or wrong for your roof. However, if you have made the decision to install insulation, we'll provide you with some advice on what sort of documentation that you should request from the installer. Spray foam insulation is a polyurethane foam insulation which is commonly applied to the underside of roof coverings between the timber rafters or roof trusses. However, some products can also be installed at ceiling level and we have seen some examples of this. Most modern installations we come across in pitch roofs in the UK are typically open cell insulation types. However, in some cases, particularly older installations, they may be of a closed cell type. In these products, the cellular structure of the insulin is not totally encapsulated. It has a light, low density structure and it expands more readily to fill gaps. So it may be easier to install in complex roofs or where access is restricted. Whilst it adheres to the roof structure, it can be cut away more easily, allowing it to be easily trimmed back and lined with plasterboard and vapour control layers, layers within loft extensions. Open cell products are also marketed as vapour permeable in that they will allow moisture vapour to pass through them. Consideration will therefore be needed on how any condensation risk from moisture vapour will be managed or mitigated. Closed cell insulation is a much denser product with a fully closed cellular structure. It doesn't generally expand to the same volume as open cell insulation and is much more rigid. It adheres to the roof structure very well and can be very difficult to remove. Closed cell insulation is less vapour permeable and is marketed as having improved thermal performance at a lower volume compared to open cell insulation. Therefore it may be advantageous where space is limited. It has been marketed as stabilising roof coverings to secure loose tiles or slates. However we would never recommend such foams are used for this purpose in lieu of repairing the roof properly. This is because any deterioration may allow water ingress and this could become trapped by the foam insulation itself. Each case is different. Changing the position of the insulating layer and altering the level of ventilation of the roof is a fundamental change to how the roof was originally designed to perform. Therefore, it is of vital importance that the installer considers several issues prior to the installation. This should always include a condensation risk or a hydrothermal assessment. This will assess whether there will be any risk of damage because of the change. The moisture content of the timbers should also be recorded and confirmed as satisfactory. A suitably qualified person should also fully assess the construction and its condition, including whether there is any underlay, its type and condition, and any signs of damp or water ingress. Also, the condition of the exterior coverings, flashing details and the like should also be inspected. Most insulations of this type are combustible, and this means that they can contribute to the spread of fire and increase the extent of damage. We therefore recommend that you check with your building insurance provider whether this could affect your insurance policy prior to installation. You should ensure that all pre-installation survey documents are fully recorded and provided to you for review. You should also ensure that you are provided with any third-party accreditation such as the product BBA or KIWA certification. The installer should also be able to demonstrate that they have installed the product in full accordance with the requirements of those certi certificates and the installation has been undertaken by suitably qualified and trained persons. You should ensure that you have a copy of any warranty or guarantee and consider whether this is backed by any insurance if the installer ceases trading. However, even with a comprehensive documentation pack, further investigations may still be necessary to satisfy future purchases or lending institutions. If you're considering having spray foam insulation installed in your property, or perhaps you already have it installed and are concerned about the risk of damage or potential future problems, we recommend that you speak to a qualified chartered building surveyor who can provide you with impartial advice. At Harrison Clark, we have a team of qualified building surveyors who can help. They can be contacted on 023 8155 0051 and look forward to speaking with you soon.